everybody welcome to my youtube i'm jen today is sketchbox day sketchbox is a monthly premium art subscription box um and this is the october box so let's see what's inside look at this gorgeous artwork um by beth zerbs um and then it tells you how you can follow the artist and um, it also tells you if you want to get your art on the box how to do that and first up is the wonderful sketchbox tissue paper. Oops. Um, it looks like there's a bunch of supplies in here this month, and this month is all about ink. Totally makes sense since it is Inktober. Um, I'm actually skipping Inktober. Well, I am doing Inktober, but I am following prompts um, by Darkest Raven Designs, the Burt Tober. Um, we're doing Tim Burton this year. Um, so yeah, still technically ink. I will make sure there's ink on every page, but anyways, let's see what's inside. First up is some scarlet red calligraphy ink. Very nice. Um, I'm going to peek in and see if there's any paper and I do see some paper. So I'm going to grab that first just so that I can swatch all this for you. Um, so this is the Hannah Mule sketch box. <laughs> Hannibal and Sketchbox. It's this custom 4x9 pad is brought to you by Sketchbox and Hannibal. Um, I have a feeling, I, I mean, I have this, I have Hannibal, um, and I have a feeling this has been in here before, um, but absolutely, I could be wrong. Um, but happy to have some paper. Uh, and of course, the size is always, uh, Sketchbox always does this size, so. Which is very nice for doing little samples, just not so great for a big, a big one. So first up is this gorgeous red calligraphy ink, um, and it is by Speedwell. Just add some there for you. Ooh, look at how dark that is. That is nice. I don't know if there's a calligraphy pen in here or if we're just supposed to use the marker. And then we have red fingertips. Um, not marker, paintbrush. Jeez. But there is this gorgeous paintbrush. It is a number two Princeton. Um, and this is one of those Chinese calligraphy paintbrushes. Get a little bit of water on it. The tips are very hard. You have to loosen them up first. And then let's try it out. It does soak it up, which is really cool. And this, I think this is watercolor paper um, because it is spreading out natural white 80 GM 40 pound paper for Japanese ink printing. Oh, this is a new paper. Okay. Very nice. do not know how to Japanese ink print, but totally willing to learn. Let's copy this, this little guy here. It's funny how I can draw the exact same thing, but it never looks the same, does it? Depending on who's drawing it. Okay, so that was the Speedball Red Calligraphy Ink. Very nice. Next we have a Edding Pastel Pen in Soft White. Uh, I think this is like an acrylic marker. 
acrylic paint marker. Um, let's see if this is dry. It's not dry yet. So let's give that a minute to dry. Then we have a Higgins India ink um, brush marker. So there we have that. Okay. So it says shake it up. And then it looks like it wants you to take this lid and push it in like this. Doesn't say how long. But I do see the ink starting to go down, so. And Indian ink is always one of my favorites. Not only for Inktober or Ink October or whatever you want to call it, but just in general. And there you go. So that's a very easy way to uh, prime the pen. I like that. And this paper definitely has some bleed to it, which um, could definitely be a good thing. Or a bad thing, depending on how you work with it. A Faber-Castell pit pin. Um, this is a medium. Another one of my favorite brands. A, another Faber-Castell um, brush pen. what okay the red is dry so let's see what this is all about not very juicy at all um, unfortunately so the red bleeds right through but let's try these yeah I can't even I think it's dry. Nope, there's some wetness there. Just cannot get it to go on top of anything. I wonder if I have any colored paper. So you see it actually looks pretty good right there. Um, it just doesn't, doesn't go on the paper very well. Okay. I will definitely play more with that. Then we have, ooh, what is this? Her talky. Made in Japan. Is it always an eraser? Oh no, what is it? It's a very hard. I don't know. I'd almost say it was graphite, but if so, it's very, very hard. So maybe it's just a cute little thing. Or maybe it goes with this. Hmm. So it does go with this. This is a Kuretake also, but I don't know what it is. This looks like a printer cartridge. Or an inkwell, maybe? Um, then there is a super cool sketch box grayscale and value finder sticker. And let's see what this is. Um, so this is the featured artist. Very cool. Um, Lil Chan. Having grown up in several different countries, she understood the importance of constant learning at an early age. Creating art helped Lil to process and understand the world around her while creating an outlet to communicate with what she learned. Every piece she creates is born of curiosity, whether it's exploring a new space or trying out a new medium. With each artwork conveying a message or question, this mindset serves her well as a concept artist and illustrator in the gaming industry. 
specializing in tabletop and um, video games. And it tells you how to um, watch her on social. There's her gorgeous artwork. Um, so, first up, this is an ink stick. We worked with Kurataki Zig to develop this custom solid Sumi ink stick. It's a solid block of ink that when grounded lightly in a Suzuri stone with water turns to ink. Oh, very nice. This allows you to grind to achieve whatever deepness of black you'd like um, in your art this month. So this says add water to the reservoir and slowly rub the solid ink stick against the slightly granulated texture. I mean, that's very slightly. Um, of the, so these two definitely go together. You're supposed to rub it. I guess it is textured, more textured that way. So we'll try that in just a second. Um, so this was $6 and this is $6.20. The Princeton Bamboo Brush is $5.65. The Speedball in Scarlet is $2.56. The Ending Soft White Pastel Pen is $3. And I want to read what it says about this one too. This pen contains water-based pigment ink that produces light, semi-transparent white effects and is perfect for highlighting your ink this month. Okay, I would definitely say that's light. Actually, it looks better in the video, in the camera, than it does in person. Um, but, uh, yeah, definitely light. I will absolutely use that. Um, and then the two pit pens are $3.70 each. The Higgins Indie Ink Softline Brush Pen is $11.30. So this is the winner for the highest priced item. Uh, we love this thin and soft brush tip of this pen. It's great. Oops. And I'm getting ink all over. That's neat. Um, sorry. It's great for all sorts of illustrative line work and covering large areas. Um, the paper pad is $10.50. Um, and of course, this paper is made specifically to work with Sumi ink. Um, and that would be this. So let me go ahead and get some water and we will see what this is all about. I don't want too much. So you do water first, add water, then slowly rub the ink stick against the slightly granulated texture to create your ink. One, two, three, four, five. That was about 10 times. Let's see if that did anything. Definitely did do something because the color is changing on the brush from red to gray. Oh, there's the white. Ooh, that's cool. The white is water resistant. So that'll be some cool effects. Try and get rid of some more of that red since I didn't wash it off very well. So we can see just the black. Okay. So it's very light with 10. I'll do 15 more. See if we can get a medium. The ink kind of, yeah, that's a bummer, especially since this paper was built directly for this, but maybe I'm putting too much ink. Um, man, I didn't mean to ruin all the other pages. There's at least three pages in here that are waterlogged now because of that. That's okay. So we're going to do 15 more. Okay. 
Make sure it stays on this side where the paper is. neat concept. Um, I do like it. It definitely works. Um, I love how the white is water resistant or color resistant. Um, and the red too for that matter, but that makes sense. Um, yeah. I just, I, I don't know how often I'd be able to use this mainly because, well, I don't know. As long as you're doing one, one big session, um, that wouldn't be a problem. So, very cool. Um, it's awesome to see new supplies. It's fantastic that um, for October they sent us ink supplies. I'm very happy overall. Let me know what you think of this box below. Um, and definitely hit that subscribe button if you like watching my videos. I could definitely use it. I'm so close to a thousand. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Oh, I will be using these supplies for Inktober, um, so I, although I won't be creating anything today, I will definitely be creating something this month, um, so keep an eye out. I'll be sharing all of my creations on my Instagram, so follow me on Instagram, and I'll also do at least a couple, um, at least a flip through at the end of the month, and probably a couple videos while we go throughout the month. Thanks for watching.